Hi guys, I don't normally do this, but I had to record this moment. I uh, just went to the library and uh, it's a nice library. I worked there when I was younger and there's a homeless man that's been there coming into that library since I was 16. Don't mind my voice, I'm trying not to cry. I am now gonna be 35 in October and I walked into the library and saw the same homeless man sitting at a table and it broke my heart. So I'm gonna cry probably, but I need to mark this moment. I uh, was sitting there looking through a bunch of books and, and trying to look up more stuff on learning everything I can about filmmaking and all this stuff and worrying about having money for the campaign. And I look over and there is that same homeless man that I used to see when I was 16, 17 working at that library. Like I said, I'm gonna be 35 in October. And uh, I didn't know what to do. I didn't, I didn't want to walk away and do nothing. Um, and he got up to use the bathroom. And for the first time in a long time, I had cash in my wallet. And while he was in the bathroom and couldn't see me, I opened up one of those zippers, small little bit open, not trying to look inside, but, and stuck a $20 bill in and zipped it up and faced it where he would sit down and ran back to my seat all shaky because, you know, I don't normally do anything like that. And I didn't want to hand it to him because nobody wants pity. Nobody wants handouts like that unless you're a user, you know. And he came back to the table and I was kind of watching and he was so stunned. He was looking around and he was just holding it. And this is a man who was refilling a water bottle, you know. This is a man who probably doesn't have a clean pair of socks in the last years, you know. And I'm not trying to toot my own horn at all. I, I just needed to mark the moment that I got up enough guts within myself to actually do it, you know. Um, and $20 to me, you know, take a gas. It's food for a bit, you know. $20 to him, no matter what he uses it for, at least it's something. So I had to do it. <laughs> and I, you know, I... I you know, I just, I had to mark the moment because I'm really proud of myself. I, I, most people don't know how much anxiety issues I have and, and how much panic attacks I get from interacting with people and stuff. It seems crazy considering how outgoing I usually am. But to see the same man still be homeless, still living with that same backpack when I was like 16, I'm gonna be 35. It was the least I could do, and I wish I could have done more, but I, I had to say something. I had to mark the moment so that I never forget, even if anybody thinks this is tooting my own horn. I'm really not trying to do it like that. I just really needed to be like, uh, even though I was terrified of, you know, being in that man's personal space or touching his bag, I just didn't want the money to go missing. and. So, I mean, $20 to me, who cares? Even if I starve for a week, it's not like what he's going through. So, you know, I, I just, I hope it helped him a little bit. I hope he was able to get a meal out of it or a drink out of it or anything the fuck he wanted. But there are people in our world that live on the streets that don't have clean socks, don't have clean underwear, that don't eat, that don't have water, that live in in woods and, and dump sites and and we bitch about such crap and and I, I, I people like this are in our world and that's why I do the food pantry thing as often as I can that's why I donate socks as often as I can because you know I have stuff I've been blessed I, I, I can get it out there I can do something but tell me where a homeless person can take a shower. You can't at the YCMA, uh, YMCA. You can't at a, at a, 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 a gym. You, you can't, they don't, they're not able to. Where are they supposed to wash their clothes? They're not allowed in laundromats and shit. Like, so here they are, whatever their situation, and they're stuck in ways and we judge them. What if that was me? I, I, would hope that somebody would help me. And when I've been in trouble, 
I have been blessed that I have had people who help me. Food pantries that help me. Family that help me. Friends that have helped me. Some people don't got any of that. And that kills my fucking heart, man. That there is anybody that has to sleep in the woods. That has to know what it means to have really dirty clothes and no way to clean them. To walk past people and know they're probably mocking or shaming. And have no idea where their next clean glass of water going to come from. Or piece of food. So... I did a little bit. I tried. I hope it helped him. And I hope this helps somebody else to know, you know. We have to give when we can. We have to help when we can. And we really can't be turning a blind eye. There are fellow human beings. There's somebody loved one. And, you know, they can't go into food stores and buy water with what money? And whatever their situation is, whatever judgment people want to throw onto them, they were born. They're alive. And we want to ignore them because it's uncomfortable. And that man's been homeless almost my entire life. And he's still surviving. And he's just one in millions. And what do we do? Donate to a food pantry at Thanksgiving? Give a dollar when a, a food store says, will you, with a bit of an attitude, go fine. Like, I know everybody's got it tough, and I know everybody's got hard times trying to make ends meet. But it puts it in fucking perspective. I have a roof over my head. I have clean clothes. I've drink, drank clean water this week. I've eaten healthy food this week. I have a car that runs. I have a healthy body. And I have people that care. There are thousands and millions that have none of that. And we want to ignore the issue. And I can't. That is a life. That is a person. That is somebody that was born. And I, we need to not ignore this. Because if it was you, you'd want somebody to help you. And I don't normally cry. A lot of people know that. I... I <laughs> I'm an m and The outside's all hard and the inside's all soft and mushy. <laughs> but that's why I do food pantry donations all the time, whether I post it or not. That's why I was doing that sock donation thing. Because how many people do you know that are homeless? I know way too many at this point, and they shouldn't have to work that hard just to struggle to survive. None of us do. And then to be shamed and mocked? Even in people's heads or ugh, imagine what they did to get like that. I don't want to know. I don't care. It don't matter what the reasoning. That person's starving and living in the woods or in a dump site or whatever else. So I tried. I gave him a little bit of money without trying to shame him in any way because nobody deserves that. Mm -mm, you already got enough going on. Who are we to judge anyone? Who am I to judge anyone? I don't. I won't. And I hope this, besides being something that I can remember, I hope this brings a little bit of awareness and a moment of awakening to anybody else. So thanks for your watching.